Here we go with another review. Live on the Jake and Dar broadcast on Saturday nights on Justin.tv. Look what I got, everybody. Look at this. Never tried this one before. Cheers, everybody. This is the St. Ambois. St. Ambois. Raspberry. Ale. And I decided upon this one because it was so hot today and yesterday. Lots of heat and humidity. So I said, well, what the hell? I'll try the fruity beer. I'll go with the fruity beer. Ingredients are water, malt, hops, red raspberry juice, and concentrate. Product of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's 5% uh, ABV. Now let's give it a try. I only got a four pack. Oh, let's try it out. Let's give the raspberry wheat ale, or the raspberry ale a try. I just finished the apricot wheat. That's why I'm saying raspberry wheat, but it's just raspberry ale. Let's give it a go. Ready? Here goes. Oh, wow. No, what a nice color to that, look. Nice, a nice dark reddish color. Isn't that nice? I got a bit of a head on that sucker, law. Yeah, that's about two fingers. Nothing wrong with that. Check that out. The hell? Oh. It looks like it's slightly, unless that's chill haze, but it looks like it's slightly cloudy. It doesn't look, uh, you know, like crazy filtered, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, looks like it's got a little slight cloudiness to it. But it actually has... The head actually has an, uh, a nice little pinkish color to it. <laughs> a nice pinkish color to the head, you know? Like, that's, that's interesting. I like that. That's different, right? So, I mean, there's the... It's got a... It's like a, it's like a very dark... Yeah, it's like a, 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 a dark reddish copper color with a nice pink head onto it. Let's have a sniff. You know what? There's not much in the nose on this one. Let's pour the rest, the rest of it up. Oh, was there sediment in that bottle? Oh, there was too low. The last bit come out dark. Right? Oh, black. Black. What the hell? All right. Maybe I should have shook it up. <laughs> oh, well. I'll shake the next one up. I got four of them. Let's have a sniff. There's almost no nose on this thing. Like, you can't really... A very, very, very faint, fruity, fruity nose on this sucker. Oh, I hope the flavor is a lot stronger what the nose is, because you can't really pick much up in the nose. Let's taste it. In this, to be honest with you. Ooh, that's got kind of a nasty taste to it. You can sort of taste the raspberry in it, but it's it's uh, not very appealing to me right now. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, it's, I don't know. Maybe it's not cold enough. I don't know. Do you have to get this sucker ice cold or what? Let's taste. Let's try one more. Well, I mean, there's there's the beer taste in there. There's the typical. You can taste the the the, the normal sort of lager type beer in there, but oh, there's like um, there's like kind of a a, a not so pleasant uh, raspberry puree flavor in there. Kind of uh, like a I don't know. I mean, you can taste it, but it doesn't really have a very brilliant taste. 
I don't know if I get a bad batch maybe or what. Raspberry ale. I hope I didn't get a bad batch. Whew, it's quite carbonated, but let's have another mouthful and see what we got. Whoa. I don't know guys. Oh, I'm not I'm not really I'm not really digging the raspberry flavor in this. I don't know. To me it's not really connecting with the beer very well. It's not really I don't know what it is, but uh this does not appeal to me too much. I, I was kind of excited when you know what after raspberry, raspberry ale, I bet you that tastes fucking awesome. I bet you it's almost like uh you know, like eating a very high quality raspberry jam, you know, with a hint of beer in the background. But, um, no, this has got a, I don't know, this, it's got an off taste to it. It's, um, it's just like, it's, it's almost like they put in, um, kind of, ex, you know, either low quality raspberry flavoring or, or just expired raspberry flavoring. <laughs> I don't know, but it just... Oh. Oh, man. I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed for that. I'm very disappointed on that one. I don't know what happened there, but... Um, I, I definitely like the apricot from St. Ambois much better than this. Oh, that's not tasting good at all. I don't know what happened. I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll see what happens on the second one. <laughs> maybe that's you know. But uh, other than that, well, what the hell? If uh, anything changes, I'll post it along the bottom of the video here and put it up. But other than that, uh, other than that, I wouldn't give this any higher than a one point, a one out of five. Like, uh, as far as this particular beer is concerned, maybe I got a bad one, I don't know. Maybe I got a bad batch, I don't know. But Sorry to say, but this is a one out of five for me. It's, a, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, um, I mean, you can taste the beer in there, and, and the beer part is not bad, but the raspberry tastes, ooh, real, real nasty, like, well, what the hell, right? If anything changes, I'll let you know on the bottom of the video on the second one, but as far as this first one is concerned, it's a 1 out of 5 for me. Not very good at all. I don't like it. I'm not crazy about it at all. Sorry, guys. Cheers. 17.